Hi, this is Linz from Sweet Natured and this is our Resilient Lady Practical Tips. As always, I'm joined by Mikey. Hello. Hello, who is recording the video. So yes, Resilient Lady Practical Tips. Let's see what we can see. Practical Tips for Resilient Lady Linz, what have you got for us? Well, first of all, we're going to take a look outside. Now, we're going to start on the top deck where the swimming pools are. So deck 15. Deck 15. Now, you're going to need flip-flops to walk about outside. If it's in a sunny climate. If it's in a sunny climate, warm climate, those floors on deck 15 get really warm, even if you're going from your sun lounger to the pool. So I would recommend getting some, some slip-ons, some flip-flops, some sandals, just something just so you can get to the water and not burn your feet because it is ouchy. Yeah, I mean, when, when you say it gets hot, it gets that, really that's hot. kind of an understatement. I mean, we're, we're currently on the Athens cruise going on the Adriatic. Yes. So it, it's been generally between 25 and 30 degrees Celsius. So not like crazy hot. No. But the you could cook an egg on yeah, that Sunday. Yeah, it's very warm. It's very warm. And, so yes. And just, as you said, walking from the, the sunbed to the pool. By the time you get to the pool, you put your feet in the steam. It's, it's really hot, so, so that's the practical tip, number one. Okay, number two. Number two, we're still on the pool deck. Now there are some uh, restrooms, loos, toilets, whatever you call them, at the side of the pool, but they're sort of mounted backwards. You saw, they're, they're almost like a little cubby. When you go in the loo, you will see there is a, a, a clear wall so you can Oh, are you talking about the secret loo? I'm talking about the secret loo. Um, it, you, there's a clear wall. You can look out as you, you get yourself organised, but they're not really advertised. So just where the main pool is, you'll just see some shiny domes. That's where you want to be heading. There's also a ramp as well for accessibility. There's, I mean, the toilets around the ship it is probably worth covering on that because they don't advertise them as toilets or restrooms they refer to them as the heads the heads so that's where you want to be heading to the heads yeah and none of them have massive signage no anyway so it is worth you know, if you're going to a restaurant or you're going into the theatres just clocking where the looms yes. are as you're walking around yeah uh, and then you'll have sort of good bearings yeah i would also um sort of clock where they are as Mark puts it because there is only two cubicles in the ladies in sort of near the theatre in one the side in the red room that's right so you might want to go to the opposite side of the ship same deck because they have them there as well but yeah it on yeah. the left so yeah as, what you do come they call out, it? as you come out of the red room yeah on it there's the toilets on your left hand side and as you said there's only two cubicles in there for women so when when you come out there it gets packed if you go to the opposite, literally the opposite side, so just go across the corridor, it's only like a few metres. Yes. To where the groupy karaoke room is. Yes. Then you've got more toilets over there, more cubicles, and no one ever goes there. Well, you don't have more cubicles, but it's quieter. Oh, is there still only two cubicles? There's still only two. The most cubicles are four, and they're where the galley is, um, up on deck, what, whatever the galley is on. Yeah. Up, up, up. But yeah, it's actually worth going to those secret loos on, on the pool deck just for that loo. One, because they're really fancy loos. It's quite them. an experience. The mirrors but, are beautiful. When, you, when you're looking outside, yeah. on it, obviously the mirror, people can't see them. We assume. We're assuming. <laughs> we're, not we're assuming. So a disclaimer, we're assuming it's so you can look out, but people can't see in. Yeah. And also, it's a on the other cruise ships, when we've got a dinner reservation or something and, and we're running late and we're heading out, I'll say, oh, it's okay. I'll go when we get there. What I'm doing now is like when you set off on a journey with a child, I'm having to, I go before we set off. So, <laughs> because again, um, yeah, the, the, especially when you've had a few drinks, I, I've ended up on some quite adventures um, trying to find the loos. But yes, secret loos, okay. check out the loos. We've had a lot of loo talk. Too much loo talk, but they are good loos. Unnecessary. What have we got for your third tip? What have we got for my third tip? outside seating now there are some virgin voyages are known for their lounges 
where you can sort of get down but it's difficult to get up. I have found some lovely seating down by the dock house at the aft of the ship. Is it deck seven? Yeah. Yeah, deck seven. They have some traditional style uh, cruise ship chairs that are fully padded. They can you raise your feet. Beautiful. Well, they're, on the, they're on the promenade. They're on the they're promenade. They're in a few different locations. Yes. They are perfect for when you're having a sail. Oh, you just want to chill and read a book. Yeah, and just want some, some quiet music. time because there's music all over the ship. There's no music here. You can hear the sea. You can see the sea. Beautiful. It is. So they are lovely little secret bit where no one really goes. You to get that your one. drink. You're lovely. Well, talking of secret areas that no one ever goes to. Yes. On deck 15, what's your next tip? Oh my goodness, it's called the scene. You, Unless you're looking for it, you won't see it. And even if you walk past it, which you will do every time you go to yes. the aquatic club or the pool. Yeah, but here is a sort of lounge area, all the chairs, that like the big uh, cup chairs, they look out towards the sea, beautiful. Just if you want to escape all the music, and just wanted some quiet time, read a book, maybe the weather's a bit iffy, or it's too sunny and you think, I need to get out of the sun, perfect. It is, and no one goes in it, do they? No. It's so quiet. You could, it's it's a really nice area. So it's if a there great are little some, tip. Yeah, if there are some people in there, they've probably got the same mindset as you. Yeah, so as you're coming out of the lift on deck 15, and you walk into the aquatic club, you can go left or right to get into the club. If you head right, you'd normally see the door to the pool area yes on the left which you go to and there's yeah. a little sign that says the scene but a door with no marking yes on. yeah so it's really easy to miss yes. out on that one yeah very good what's your next top tip are we inside or outside you can be wherever you want it's on your top tip well it is but let's do one that's sort of off the ship um virgin like seaborne or other premium premium lines put on a shuttle bus for free we didn't realize for this free. for free and um you can get on the shuttle bus they run like every 15 20 minutes if, for example in dubrovnik we got on the shuttle bus it took us to the old town it picked us up at is it pile gate okay, yeah. yeah they were like 15 20 minutes back from the same bus stop that seaborne are so you'll see the seaborne person on there in little, that particular in fact, yeah in dubrovnik and brings you back as we were leaving the port we saw a giant sign that said 18 euros to Old Town. Fixed uh, price. Fixed price taxes, to yeah. Old Town. So again, that's that's amazing. Thanks, well, they had, Virgin. They had the shuttle buses in each in other Corfu, location. Yeah. In Corfu, as well. Corfu, the they didn't, but it was literally just across well, the street. Well, it was right in front of Lady Yeah, Lady yeah, Lady it Lady pulled Lady right in. Yeah, yeah. So, it, yeah, it's worth clarifying. If the main area where you're going is a little bit further away, there's a shuttle bus. If it's yeah. right in front of the ship, then you walk. Well done Virgin Voyages on that one. Yeah, because we didn't know that. We uh, didn't know that. And that's our, this is our third trip on Virgin, but it's the most sort of port intensive one yes. that we've done, whereas yeah. the other ones have been less Yeah, so. and other people that we'd met had actually booked transfers or booked tuk-tuks and they, they didn't need to. So yes, shuttle bus, love it. Okay, so we're now gonna go back into the ship and we're gonna talk about the events. Now, for example, another rose looks quite pricey when you see it. Think, oh, for a dinner show. Um, Which is it? Fifty dollars on our cruise, yeah. but we know they're, they're that looking at scaling that up. Yeah, but it does include all your drinks, alcoholic drinks. A lot of them. A lot of them. So they keep your glass topped up for uh, the bubbles, which was like a pink sparkling wine. I don't even think it was champagne, but it was very nice. It was a rosy, sparkly thing. That it was we had lovely. About five, four or five really pasta. lovely. And then we had uh, cocktails throughout that were themed with part of the show. So yes, if it looks pricey, double I check. would double check that. Yeah. I mean that that is a thing that the they seem to do on a lot of them. You you'll see events that go on during the day like yes. the shop for shop class, and you go oh thirty five dollars. Yeah. But you get three cocktails in it, which if you then look at how much. You pay for a cocktail around. Yes. It often ends up being cheaper than buying the cocktails. Yes. Which you might not have bought those ones. No. But more often than not, they represent really good value. When yeah. At first view, you might think, oh, Ooh, that's, that's expensive. Pricey. Yes. Yeah. Well, talking of events that are going on 
that have drinks and things. Yes. On this particular cruise, yeah. so the ones that's going around the Greek ones, so I know they do different things in different parts of the world. Yeah. But we have the Opa Hour or Opa Hour. Opa or Opa. Opa. Either yeah. way, it's really it seems really good value. Uh, it starts at four thirty, so it might be a time that you'd usually be sort of napping or to getting ready or something or off the ship but 4 30 till 6 30. yeah the uh, upper hour is two hours it is that's right and and they what they do is they serve nibbles and things that are sort of themed to the location of where you are and then they'll have themed drinks and of course the nibbles are included there's not an extra cost for those so that that's yeah great. we we've obviously on the cruise that we had had predominantly greek themed ones and yes. specialty greek cocktails and you can't get them at any other time outside of this two hours. So you can't get the food and you can't get the cocktails. No. They've got them just for that bit. And that particular one is held in um, the dock bar. The dock house right at the, the back. And the dock house. So inside and outside. Yes. Beautiful for sail away or just taking in the, the, the wake views or just taking in where, whichever port you're in. It's lovely. And they're really popular, aren't they? Yeah, really popular, but the, we found that the seating, maybe after this it gets a little bit busier, but it's, yeah, it's fabulous. And the Med G&T with the feta cheese on top, wow. That's not an up hour, that's a normal that's, one. Yeah, that, that's, that's your tip for your favourite cocktail. I loved that. In fact, I'll be getting one today. But mainly for the cheese. But mainly for the <laughs> cheese. <laughs> and what's your final top tip? What is my final top tip? It's room service, isn't it? It's Oh, it is room service, yes. Now, this one took me a while to get my head round because there is a charge for room service, but Mikey will explain. It's, it's is it six? It's $7. $7. Yeah. So, but anything that you order is included. Yes. Obviously, if you get alcohol or wine, I'm aware wine is alcohol, but um, if you get beers, if you get wine, yeah. then you pay the normal rate for that. Yeah. But if you're ordering food, if you're ordering a pizza, the hot food that you can get are things that are available from all of the main restaurants. So you can have like the, the steak from the wake. It's quite you a... You can have pasta from yeah. Extra Virgin. Yeah. A really good list. But there's a, a tray charge of $7 no matter how much you get. Now, this is where the tip comes in. The tip is you buy something and then you don't pay the charge is that yeah. right is that the tip That's the again tip. you were it, explaining it took, it took you a little while to get your head around it yes because if you just buy something that's on there that costs one dollar that's what you pay then you only pay one dollar they don't charge you the seven dollars yes so if you get in the room service get a speciality coffee for four or five pound yeah get a, a nice tea yeah but what you can also get uh, and I'm going to pass you a prop here. Please. Oh my goodness me. Thank you. Is cans of drink, including Coke, Sprite, ginger ale, all sorts of stuff, as many as you want yeah. delivered to your room, which you can then put in your mini fridge. Yes. There's no charge for them whatsoever. No. And there you go. You've got... Um, you've got drinks on demand for when you want it, as well as the water that you've got in your room. Yeah. So, a great top tip. That was Marky's top tip. It's about money, so it's a Marky top tip. <laughs> so, yes, well, thank you for watching. Uh, cheers, darling. Cheers, Lance. And have a lovely day.